welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So we're going to look at this question from a gate exam, which is considering the following statements. We have two statements here. So the first one says, if we have two languages and their union is regular, then both of the original languages are regular. And the second statement is, regular languages are closed under infinite union. So what we want to be able to figure out is, which of these two, if any, are true? So which of these two are true? And this question actually has four possible answers on the actual test, but as always, I don't want to put the actual answers. I want to be able to figure this out for ourselves. So which of these two are true? Well, let's look at the second one. So for the second one, this says that if we have languages L1, L2, L3, etc., infinitely many languages, and we take the union of all of them, so for i equals 0 to infinity, then this implies that if all of these are regular, then this implies that L is regular too. And it's actually quite tempting to say that this is true, but we've actually done a video to show that this is false before. And what is the languages that we can choose? Well, let's choose L1 to be the single string AB, L2 to be the language AABB, etc. So in general, L of I is the string AIBI, well, the language containing the string AIBI. Well, what can we conclude about this? Well, this language li is finite because there's exactly one string in there. It's not that there are many strings in there, there's exactly one string because <laughs> there's only one string in there. And what is the union of all of these? So for i equals zero to infinity of l of i, well, that is all possible strings of the form a to the n, b to the n for any length, right? Because this says that we take of we have infinitely many languages and we all of the strings we're just unioning all of them into l well those are the ones that are of the form a's followed by b's and the same number of a's and b's well we know because this is the canonical non-regular language so this is not regular but since each li is finite Finite languages are always regular because we can always make an NFA for them. So this is regular. So this statement is false. So then let's talk about one. Well, one says that if we have two languages that are regular, then both of them are regular. So we did a video about this actually, about the closure properties of non-regular languages. So we have shown before that non-regular languages are closed under complement. So this says that L, if L is non-regular, then that implies that L bar is also not regular. And as quick proof of that is, if L bar were regular, regular languages are closed under complement, so then L bar bar would also be regular, but that's L. So that would imply that L is both non-regular and regular, which is not true. So what can we do here? Well, L union, its complement is always sigma star. So if we take L to be any non-regular language, any one that you want, like A to the N, B to the N, like we just did before, well, its complement is also non-regular, so this is not regular. But their union is sigma star, which is regular, because we can just make a simple DFA that loops on all A and sigma like this. So it accepts every string. So because every string is in either L or L bar, we can conclude that their union is sigma star. So this claim for one is also false. So the true answer to both of these um, statements is false. They're, neither of them are true. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if you have, if you've figured it out in a different way. 
please subscribe if, and please uh, like the video if you enjoyed this content. And as always, I'll see you next time.